there are three real numbers x, y and z each strictly greater than 1. Such that 2 times log of x to the base y, okay, 2 times log of x to the base y plus 2 times log of y to the base z, that was the equation, plus 1 by 4 log of z to the base x equals 3. Okay, this was the equation given to us. And it was also given that the value of y is 3. Okay, so I can make that change now. Wherever I see y, I can change it to 3. What can you say about value of z? 9, 3, root 3 or impossible to determine. Now, look, we only have one equation with us. Okay. We only have one equation with us. Uh, okay, by the way, I didn't ask you. You can see the screen, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so one equation is there. And there are two unknowns here. And what are those two unknowns? Those two unknowns are x and z. Those two unknowns are x and z. So ideally, you would say, that uh, the value of z cannot be determined from the given information because uh, we cannot guarantee that there exists a unique solution there for x and z. Okay? But uh, we can actually uh, think about solving this problem in the following way. We can make use of this part of the statement in the, of the problem. Each strictly greater than 1. Okay? Each strictly greater than 1. Now what does that mean? That means, whenever the base of logarithm is greater than 1, and so is this, okay, all the logs that we have will be positive. Do you agree to this? When base is positive, log will also be positive. Okay, when base is positive, well, I would say, oh, okay, sorry, not positive, sorry, not positive, greater than 1, greater than 1, sorry, my mistake. When base is greater than 1, okay, when base is greater than 1, and so is the number, then log is positive, or rather greater than 1. Mm, sorry, log should be positive. My bad. Log should be positive. Okay? So when both are... Okay. Both are greater. Now, what I will then do is, rather we can do is, we can assume the following. Okay? We can assume the following. What is that? We can assume that this part is half. Okay, let's just, just, let us just suppose that this green highlighted part is half. Okay, that makes this one. Then we can assume that this part is also half. Okay, this part is also half. Okay, now that will make this one and uh, then let us assume that this part is one upon, oh, okay, not one upon, sorry, let us assume that this is four. If we could find such a combination of x and z, which meets the requirement 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3, we might possibly get an answer. Right? Okay. So let us now take the first one. Log of x to the base 3 is half. So x has to be root 3. Note that it is greater than 1. Okay? Now go to second one log of 3 to the base z is half. Okay, log of 3 to the base z is half. Therefore, z must be 9, greater than 1. Okay, z must be greater than 9. Now, see if this matches the third one. <coughs> that is, log of z to the base x. What does that give us? Log of z to the base x. Is it 4? Yes, it is 4. Because root 3 squared is 3, so root 3 raised to 4 is 9. 
and this is 4. So that gives me one pair of x and z. x is root 3 and z is 9. <coughs> so the correct option is uh, A. Yes, Tanish, you were right. When we, when we look at the options, we indeed have some idea and everything here has 3 and powers of 3. So, we can also make use of that. In fact, 9, 3 and root 3 are the values of z, y and x respectively. But again, some questions remain unanswered uh, as to are there any other solutions to the question, not necessarily greater than 1, strictly. Okay, who knows? We need to deal with that separately. But as far as the problem is concerned, we have solved it. 